seemed like they were uh, really attacking the offensive glass. What, what was what led to those, some of those struggles uh, for y'all defensive rebounding today? Um, I think they were just quicker to the ball. They they really attacked the the offensive glass, and they wanted it more than we did. Um, yeah, when you play a team like that, where they they really crash crash hard like that, I don't know how many offensive rebounds they have, but you, one of our big main keys to the game was keeping them off the offensive glass, and we weren't able to do that tonight. Curtis. Hey, Justin, I was wondering if you could just kind of run us through that last possession you guys had there with Connor getting the decent look from three. Is was that what you what you drew up there, and what you think about that look? Um, I mean, it was it was a great look. I mean, he was wide open. He's a good shooter, and I mean, we'll take that any day of the week. And sometimes it just doesn't fall. Um, was it what that wasn't how we drew it up, but that's kind of what the defense gave us, and we'll take that shot any time. So I mean, they. They kind of, I think they doubled JD in the in the top corner. And so he got rid of it. He made a good play, got kind of the ball, and kind of had a good shot, and it just didn't go down for us. Bob. Yeah, uh, Justin, what did you think of Cunningham? He you know, he'd missed a couple games, started a little slow, and then he really turned it on. I think he had 11 of their last 16 or 17 points. It, it seemed to hit, seemed to make every big play they needed. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's a great player. Um, and he, he kind of took over for them at the end of the game. We, we couldn't we couldn't really stop him or get enough stops. Um, I mean, they gave him the ball. They put the ball in his hands, and he made plays. And you know that's what he's there to do. So, um, yeah, that's about it. And then you guys only took seven free throws. Um, Eric, you know, mentioned they're a very physical team. Uh, just what 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 do you think of that? That you only, that you guys as a team only got seven free throws. Um, I think that the refs are good at their job, and if they didn't see any fouls, then there wasn't any fouls. Okay, thank you, mm -hmm. Scotty. Hey, Justin, Coach was on here a minute ago. He was kind of lamenting the the struggles finishing at the rim. I think Stat Broadcast had you guys sixteen for for thirty seven on layups. Can you kind of pinpoint anything that's kind of leading to those issues? Um, I think in this game in particular, we we weren't going in. We really didn't know that they were really that big with shot blocking team. But then I think it was like on the first five plays, they got like three blocks, and that kind of I think that kind of spooked us a little bit. Um, with a team that's good at blocking shots, you have to kind of bait them into you know going for those shot fake or those shot. Shot fakes and you know trying to get them in the air and draw fouls, but we weren't even able to draw fouls. So that makes it difficult when you know trying to finish over those long athletic guys. You know that's it's difficult. I mean we have to go into their body and maybe initiate some contact. I don't really know. Maybe we have to look at the film and see what happens. But um, you know they were a good shot blocking team, and I think that's the main reason we we struggle finishing tonight. Troy. Yeah, Justin. What? was the game plan going into um, this one? And how do you think you guys executed it? Well, the, the main the main points were keep them off the offensive glass. So we have to defensive rebound, um, get back in transition, and you know, no, you know, interior buckets by them. Um, I mean, they had 42 points in the paint that we, we wanted to limit that. Um, so I don't really think we did any of the, our, our key points that we were, wanted to do in the game. I don't think we did either of those, any of those very well. Bob. Yeah, Justin, Eric said you didn't practice Thursday. I don't know what all you were able to do Friday, but you, you know, you don't, you don't look like a guy today that's, that's got a bad ankle. Just how are you feeling physically and kind of how are you dealing with that, you know, game to game, kind of recovering, playing, recovering. I mean, it's difficult. Um, you know, practice is important, and kind of, you know, that's where you really um, you get to know, you know, the other team. You know, kind of get engaged what they do well. You know, go through their plays and a bunch of different things. And then also, it keeps you in shape. So I was a little bit winded throughout the game, 
Um, so that's definitely catching up to me. I mean, I felt I, my ankle feels good right now. I mean, we'll see how it feels tomorrow. But if I'm able to string a couple practices together, then my wind will get back up and, you know, I'll be able to play at a higher level for a longer period of time. I know it's a tough loss of Dave. You guys get right back into the SEC on Tuesday night. Quick turnaround. Just how, you, know, you should have got an SEC winning streak. Just how do you feel about that? And you're, and you're back home too. I think luckily, I think it's lucky because I mean, we really, we really wanted this game, but I think a quick turnaround is good for us because we can kind of get it out of our mind, you know, and focus on another team, focus on another game. And then, you know, playing at home, you know, we get our, get our home crowd and, you know, uh, similar or familiar surroundings. So, um, you know, we're going to take a look at this game and get better from it. But, you know, it'll, having a game so quickly allows us to kind of turn the page really quickly.